As smartphone use is on the rise, so are concerns about app privacy. Mobile is such a central part of many lives when it comes to personal and business communication. And with new apps being released all the time and so frequently used, it's no wonder. A new study turned up nearly one third of mobile phone owners have either lost their phones or have had them stolen. And considering how much personal and often corporate information many of us have on our phones, that's a pretty big deal. After anything from games to city guides, also social networks like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. As mobile becomes more and more important, the way the apps handle personal data is something many do take into consideration. Privacy worries have caused more than half of app users to not download an app after they read what information it had to access, and 33% of mobile app users went so far as to uninstall an app once they learned what information it was accessing. Some tips, backup contacts and files, clear your browser history, and turn off location tracking features. Some good news because of increased use and concern, the largest app distributors have agreed they will find a way to better articulate policies. Working from home eliminates a commute, saves gas, and on the company side, it means less required office space. And now a new study from Stanford has concluded people who work from home are more productive than those who don't. This from a study that randomized 250 call center employees at a Chinese company called C-Trip. In the end, telecommuters wrapped up their performance up to 13% because of fewer breaks, fewer sick days, working more minutes per shift because they took more calls because of access to a quiet environment. Job attrition rates among the telecommuters also dropped by half and they reported more work satisfaction. The company also saved about 2000 bucks per employee and has since decided to roll out a company-wide work from home program. Some say the study provides ample fuel for anyone trying to convince their boss that working from home isn't just the environmentally conscious thing to do, it can also make good business sense. While the fall chill is in the air, which means our internet use is likely about to increase, especially in Canada, and interestingly, especially if you use Twitter. Twitter users in Canada average more than 33 hours a week online, while non-Twitter users clock in just 17 hours. Comparing that to what was considered casual use in 1997, less than five hours. It's believed that increased smartphone use and the rise of tablets has triggered the surge in this always connected mentality of being connected around the clock. Even during vacations, most users can't help, but some time online, whether it be for business or personal use. I'd love your feedback as to what you want to know about. Please comment below or talk to me on Twitter, at Lisa Ostrakoff.